I'm Robert Reese, CTO of Datical. I'm going to demonstrate the Datical DB plugin for CA release automation, formerly Nolio. Datical DB brings DevOps to the database and enables agile development. Datical DB is database neutral and uses a unique model-based approach to easily automate, manage, track, and deliver database schema changes in lockstep with your application code. Datical DB plugs right into your existing infrastructure and works with your existing processes, tools, and automation frameworks, and it's the perfect extension to CA release automation. So let's see Datical DB and CA release automation in action. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the integration between Datical DB and CA release automation. Now we're going to assume that you have a passing familiarity with Datical DB. If not, you can look at some of the other videos that we have. Um, but here I've got a very simple Datical DB project. Uh, if we look at the change log, we've got for release 2.1, we've got five changes. I'm going to go ahead and forecast this to my dev environment. Um, and we're going to look at the report and see that we're going to push out all changes that we expect. Looks like we're creating a, a few tables. Um, creating a uh, foreign key and an index. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, now, uh, since I did a forecast, I need to do a deployment into my dev environment. Now to show the integration with CA release automation, what we're going to do is walk through CA release automation deploying to our QA environment. So let's imagine that we forecasted to dev We've deployed to dev. We're quite happy with that. But now we have to get our uh, source code and our database changes into our repository, into our DevOps process. So let me go ahead and show you CA release automation. And um, I guess I'll go through first and show you how to install um, the, uh, the custom actions. So here you'll notice I've got Datical DB for CARA and all of my custom actions. And to install this, we'll just go ahead and select that plus sign and navigate to where the jar file is. Now, if you'd like to download this yourself, all you have to do is go to github.com slash datacle slash datacle db for C-A-R-A. If you just go to the datacle GitHub account, you'll see it there. And go into the disk directory, and you'll see that there's a jar file that you can download of the latest release or you can check it out yourself and do a build locally if you'd like. So let's go back to release automation. We're going to go to uh, our components and I'm going to walk you through the flow that we're going to do. Now if you'll, we open this up and we'll see that it's a real straightforward flow. Uh, it's just one step after the next. But the first two things I'm doing up top uh, kind of set the stage for the rest. I have got two parameters, one Datacle DB location and Datacle DB project directory. Now, Datacle DB location is where Datacle DB is installed. Now, on my local machine, I have it in the default installation directory. Uh, and this is the fully qualified value, fully qualified path to uh, our hammer.bat uh, or hammer.sh. Um, CLI application. What I'm also doing in setting up the project directory here is utilizing a uh, release automation parameter to create a folder every time I run this in the temp directory. Uh, you might do this differently, but the project directory and Datacle DB location are used by the later custom actions. So we'll create a folder and then we'll create a new Datacal project in that folder. We'll create a dev database definition and QA definition. All right, this is information about where the QA database is. So imagine if you're using this to push to production, you probably don't want to check in your production username and password into source code control. This allows you to um, uh, uh, dynamically create this at runtime and you can store the username and password and those sorts of things in a central location and not have to worry about who can see it in the source code um, repository. Um, we s get the changelog file, um, and this is that file that has those, uh, you know, release 2.1, change set 1 through 5. 
you could check these out from uh, source code control, subversion, git, whatever you have. We set a property, which is the drivers, uh, install license, we check the drivers, and then we start executing data call. Now this is where I think it really separates itself from just running SQL scripts. Um, with release automation, what we can do is we can do a Datacle DB forecast, see if that's going to be successful or not. If it is successful, we do a deployment, but we'll do it with an automatic rollback. So if something happens at deploy time, it will automatically roll back to the previous state, and we don't have to worry about um, backing out SQL scripts, which are near impossible to do uh, without some kind of human intervention. Uh, Datacle DB can do that with CA release automation. The next thing we do is we do a couple diffs to make sure that the deployment went fine. We'll do a snapshot, and then we've got a couple of cleanup things just for fun, uh, showing the status, the details, the history. Um, so now let's go ahead and um, go to the um, processes here, and we're going to go ahead and deploy this. So we'll go over here to my process, and we're going to select publish and run. We will then select, um, if I can get my mouse clicking right, there we go. Sorry. And we'll select, we're going to run it locally on my machine. And now it's going to run through all these different steps um, and creating this new directory in our temp folder. Once this is done, we'll go ahead and look at the temp directory and look at the reports that were generated. And we'll also look at the state using the Datacle DB UI. As one of my favorite things of this uh, CA release automation is that it actually steps you through all the different steps. I like the really the blinky lights. Uh, feels like there's you know it's actually working for me here. Uh, I don't see a little swirly uh, clock or or uh, an hourglass or something like that. So here with the status, it's just checking um, what the status is, and you can always look at that in the logs. Um, and see where it's at. Uh, you can also have, you know, kind of complex logic. If this is not at a certain status, do whatever we need to do next. So let's go ahead and take a look at Datacle DB, look at the UI, and we'll just select status. And we'll see that it's fully deployed. It has deployed to this, um, uh, this instance. And let's go ahead and look at the artifacts that were left behind in our temp directory. So if we do a dir here, we'll see that we have one folder. And I'll just go ahead and open this up in the UI so we can take a peek. Let's go look at reports. And for example, let's look at the forecast report, which is just simple HTML document. And we'll see that this is that forecast to QA. Um, and we'll see that it's identical uh, to the one that we did to the dev environment. Uh, we've got release 2.1. We're pushing out change set 1 through 5. Now the cool thing about this is that with this forecast report and with the integration with CA release automation, what you can do is you can do a forecast three in the afternoon, distribute that to your team members, the your stakeholders, people that would be affected by the change, and you can get feedback from them. Uh, for example, you can run this by your DBAs to make certain that this falls within your corporate standards. Um, and that's far superior to running this at three in the morning uh, and praying for the best. Thank you for watching. Find us online at datical.com or call us at 949 Datical. You can find us on Twitter at Datical or on Facebook. Thank you again.